Most duct cleaning companies start their businesses with residential cleaning. This usually involves just an air handler and condenser, six to 12 grills, and easy access to the ducts. One person can usually tackle one to three residences a day. Commercial systems, on the other hand, are often large, complex, and sometimes a challenge to clean. Often it can take two or more employees to take on a commercial system, sometimes over several days or even nights and weekends. To grow your business beyond residential cleaning, you may want to look at commercial duct cleaning as part of your service. Commercial cleaning is just residential cleaning on a larger scale. If you break down a commercial system, you will see there are just multiple residential units in one location. You have air handlers, ducts, and grills and vents. You also have differences like cooling towers and boilers. You will not be cleaning these, but they are part of the commercial system. In this series, we'll cover many of the topics that you will need to know to successfully expand your duct cleaning business. There are 11 separate lessons, each building upon the lessons before. Follow them in order. However, feel free to watch any specific topic you wish. In our commercial air systems lesson, we will examine the different types of commercial air units you will encounter. In the commercial ductwork video, we'll explain the different types of ducts that make up the system. Lesson four is an overview of different components of the air system, from VAV boxes to air dampers. Our tools and materials video will cover recommended hardware and materials you'll be using in commercial cleaning. Lesson six is all about access holes. You will be entering and cleaning the air system by cutting access holes, and you want to do it efficiently. Reading blueprints is an essential part of your pre-planning workflow. We will cover how to read blueprints and how to use them to plan your duct cleaning strategy in Lesson 7. In Video 8, we'll go through step-by-step -step cleaning a commercial system by showing how we did it. From working with engineers to the cleaning strategies we used, we even note some of our mistakes. Our next lesson is cleaning a commercial split system. These are compact, individual systems that target specific areas in the building. Our 10th video covers commercial dryers and exhaust ducts. These can be very profitable jobs you may want to pursue. Our final lesson will cover the business of commercial cleaning, from defining who your customers are to estimating and writing quotes. Now let's get started and expand your duct cleaning business beyond what it is today.